Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's game night, so you know what that means. Oh yeah! Hey, what's up you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Game Night. So, Game Night stars Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, and what this film is basically about. It's about, you know, Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, they like to have, you know, Game Night every week with, like, their friends and stuff like that. And when Jason Bateman's brother comes into town, he wants to have Game Night at his house, you know? And he wants to take things up a notch with it. Kind of do like a murder mystery kind of thing with it. With like fake criminals and fake cops and stuff like that. But when actual criminals kidnap him, things start to get a little bit out of hand. So what did I think of Game Night? Now going into Game Night, I didn't really expect much, to be honest with you. I thought it just looked like another typical... R-rated comedy, and it didn't help from the fact that this was coming from the same people that did the Vacation remake, so th that didn't help at all as well with it. So, yeah, going into this movie, I wasn't really looking forward to it all that much, and it looked pretty bad, but, you know, anything could happen. Anything could happen, you know, this could surprise me, I could actually enjoy this film. And I actually did, honestly, I actually quite liked it. Actually, I quite enjoyed this movie a lot more than I expected I did. This movie is actually pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. I actually quite had a bit of a blast with Game Night. Game Night is actually a pretty funny movie. So, let's get into my positives with Game Night. And my, and, uh, my positives are, first being the acting. The acting is actually pretty good in this movie. I actually quite enjoyed everybody in this film. Jason Bateman was really good in the movie. I quite enjoyed him and his character. He was pretty funny. I enjoyed him. Rachel, Rachel McAdams was great. I thought she was really fantastic in the movie too. I liked their camaraderie with each other and just with the whole cast in general. That's why I liked a lot about with this movie. And you know, the other characters are great too. Like there's this like really dumb idiot like he's like one of the better dumb characters i've seen in like a really long time and he was actually great he had me cracking up a lot um and yeah i actually enjoyed um a lot of the actors in this film but the one that just steals the show in this entire movie is jesse plummets he is fantastic i every time this guy popped up on screen he just was amazing. Like, I, I was almost out of breath every time I saw him because he was just that funny. Just thinking about his character is making me laugh because he was just that great in the movie, honestly. Especially in this one scene. I, you know, not don't want to really talk about spoilers, but he's just fantastic. I, I loved him in this movie. He was definitely by far my favorite character in the entire film. And he was just, he was awesome. I loved him. And just stole the show every time he was on screen. Um, the comedy was great. I actually thought the comedy was actually really fantastic with this movie for the most part, honestly. Like, there was a lot of jokes in here that I thought were pretty funny and actually very well handled. You know, you have some of your typical R-rated type, type of humor thrown in there, you know, here and there. But for the most part, I actually thought the jokes were pretty funny and actually did had me laughing a lot, honestly, and, you know, that's what a comedy's job is supposed to do, it's supposed to make you laugh, and that's exactly what this movie does, and it does its job very well, and I was laughing a lot during this movie, because there were a lot of things that were indeed funny about this film, and I will say the comedy is really fantastic with this film. Like I said before, I like the whole camaraderie between all the characters in this movie, like, you know, that whole group, that like gets together for like game night and stuff like that. They were really great. I actually enjoyed their chemistry with each other. They actually had really great chemistry with each other. I really liked them a lot, honestly. I thought the camaraderie between all of them were really fantastic. I liked a lot of their back and forth with each other in the movie. So yeah, I will say that that is pretty well handled in the film. I actually did like that. It made you believe that like yeah, these guys are friends. These are you know, people that have known each other their entire lives, and I did like that a lot with this film. I thought they uh, really handled that well with the film. So yeah, I did like that a lot. 
Um, the writing was really fantastic with the movie, too. I actually thought the writing was pretty great. You know, it's very well handled. You know, the, uh, the comedic timing is really good. Like, I thought the dialogue was actually pretty solid. So, yeah, the writing is really great, honestly, with this movie. The directing is actually pretty solid with the film, too. It's actually very well shot, very well edited. Uh, cinematography is actually really good, too. You know, so, yeah, I did actually think the directing was actually pretty solid with this movie. You know? I really did like the directing with the film. The directing was actually really good, you know. Like I said, it's pretty well shot. Editing is pretty solid. And the cinematography is really good, too. Even the musical score was actually pretty solid, too. I actually liked the musical score with this movie, honestly. Like, I actually thought that was really solid with the film as well. And honestly, the pacing's really good, too. The movie's about an hour and 40 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And honestly, it moves at a pretty nice pace, honestly. Like, I really did think the movie did move at a good pace, honestly. And there was never a time, really, while I was bored with the film. Like, it just, you know, found its way of just, you know, um, keeping me interested. So, I did like that a lot as well. Now, there are some negatives I do have with Game Night, and those negatives are, first being, there are, like I said before, there are some points where it does go to that typical R-rated humor at points, you know what I mean? There are some points with that, and it just doesn't work really. You know, um, there are some points where the humor just doesn't work that well. And lastly, I will admit, the third act gets a little bit far-fetched. Um, not to the point where I thought, you know, I was like, oh, this is terrible, this is like, Awful, it's taking me out of the film now. And it was just, I will admit, it is a little bit far fetched. And I was like, okay, you know, this is getting a little bit much. But you know, I'm still having a fun time with it, you know what I mean? But I will admit, the third act does get a little bit, um, you know, a little bit much, honestly. There are, I will admit, the, the third act does get a little bit far fetched. But other than that, I honestly had a blast with this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Honestly, I really did have a great time with Game Night. Game Night is actually a surprisingly funny movie. So it's time for my official grade on Game Night, and my official grade on Game Night is an A-. minus. Never in a million years why I would have thought I would give this movie that grade, but it deserves it, honestly. I really had a great time with this film. It's really funny, has a great batch of characters, honestly. It's really enjoyable. I honestly had a blast with this movie. And, you know, it's nice to see an R-rated comedy that doesn't suck, you know, so I really enjoyed this film. It's great. Definitely go check it out. Definitely deserves an A-. minus. So, if you have seen Game Night, what did you think of it? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm FilmFan0599, and we will see you all later. Peace.